am so excited to see your beautiful faces. I thank you so much for making the time to come out and partake in this special celebration. So when the next one comes, you will invite a whole bunch of people, right? All right. I want to let you know, this is going to be YouTube, and we will have people in Russia watching it, and also we have a pastor showing it in Africa. So even though we may be small in numbers, we are going to be mighty in the spirit, right? So please, amen. Please do me a favor and have your listening ears on like we tell the children. And what I want you to do is don't listen with your flesh. This you need to listen to with your heart. You need to open your heart and you need to hear what we are trying to show, what we are trying to teach. So please, please help me to welcome everyone that is here tonight. Give yourself a round of applause. For everything with laying it before the Lord in prayer. You agree? Amen. Nothing will work unless we put God first. Please all minds on Jesus. Father God, I come to you this evening just to praise and bless your holy magnificent name. Lord God, I thank you for bringing us together this evening to celebrate your blessed diversity. Lord God, I thank you for every family that is represented here. I thank you for every light that was brought in to this room today and let it shine so brilliantly when people are leaving again, Lord God. If there's a heart that is hardened, soften it tonight. If there's a heart that is open, let that heart just go out and teach others what we are trying to teach. Father God, I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. I would like to begin today, first of all, by thanking my pastors, Pastor Rob and Melissa, for allowing this celebration to come forth. Let me tell you, this is not a celebration that's welcome everywhere. We know that. We understand that. But nevertheless, it is here and it will grow and grow and grow. And we are going forth and we are trying to make Jesus proud and our present proud of what we are doing today. Martin Luther King said at one point in time that his dream is to have us celebrate Christ together. And let's see what he had to say during this interview. I would like you to listen it to Rector from Pastor Martin Luther King. Dr. King, uh, how many white people are members of your church that land? I don't have any white members, Mr. Martin well, sir, you said integration is the law of the land, and it's uh, morally right, whereas segregation is morally wrong, and the president should do something about it. Do you mean the president should issue an order that the schools and the churches and the stores should all be integrated? I think it is one of the tragedies of our nation, one of the shameful tragedies, that 11 o'clock on Sunday morning is one of the most segregated hours, and not the most segregated hours in Christian America. Uh, I definitely think the Christian church should be integrated and any church that uh, stands against integration and that has a segregated body is standing against the spirit and the teachings of Jesus Christ and it fails to... So you hear what he said? That we must celebrate together. And now let's try to get to the root of why people don't necessarily like this. There are these couples out there that have reached across the racial barriers and gotten together. And this is sometimes the root of why 
Some of the churches just are not getting segregated. But let me tell you something. I want to tell you about my trip from my home to this church on Sundays. When I leave at 8 o'clock, I put on my clothes. I'm all excited. I'm going to see my pastor. I'm going to hear what my pastor has to say. Oh, God, I need to get the word inside of me. I drive outside of my subdivision. I get onto the intersection of Monday's Mill and Tierra Boulevard. And I see other people coming to their church. And suddenly, I see them separating. Several people are going on the right side. Directly across the street, the people going on the other side. And guess what? If you take a look at it, you will understand there is a little bit of segregation and separation taking place. I go further down because I can't wait to see my pastor. I can't wait to get that word. I go further down, I see another ministry. I don't really speak that language, but I know that their members are all speaking each other language. They go into their church because they're comfortable. Right across the street is another church. They go into their people because they're comfortable. And oh my God, this is so sad. Why are we separating and segregating? But guess what? I am going to Church of the Harvest International. I come into the parking lot and I see every skin color there is. I see all shades of brown. I see from light to dark, and I see everyone flocking into the church home to hear what God and Pastor Rob has to say to us. I thank you for that. I thank you for that, Pastor, and I just love this church. Let's see what we are going to do next. I would like to introduce to you the Mistress of Ceremony. A beautiful woman of God that I met when I started going to her cell group. By the way, my pastor says connect yourself to a group. And in that group, you will grow. Because people are going to know a little bit more about you, about your weaknesses and strength, and they can strengthen you even more. This woman taught me, I, at first I thought she was very shy, would never say anything, and then she spoke and spoke God's word with such a heart and power. And I would like to bring forth my friend, my sister in Christ, and today's mistress of ceremony. Please give her a hand, Ms. Pauline Smith. Those who know me know I cry. I cry at anything. So tonight we're going to have a lot of speakers. We're going to have some dancers, and we're going to have some singers. And we just want you to sit back and enjoy it, okay? And as Connie said, listen with your heart, listen with your spirit. Tonight I would like to introduce to you Miss Rebecca Miller Pringle. She's going to come and give us a short little speech, and. Let me tell you a little bit about Miss Pringle. We just recently met her at one of Connie's book signings. Uh, she is an author also, for those who don't know. Um, and we just love her already. She's a sweetheart. She is the founder of Miller's Mediators. She's a registered mediator and arbitrator with the state of Georgia. She is a voice for abused and neglected children, and she holds a master's in public administration. Active in the Spanish community, teaching leadership to Latinos, also helping legal disputes. She herself has a blended family and has written a book that will be debuting in a couple of weeks. Let's give her a hand as she comes, Ms. Rebecca Pizzo. 